Myths explain the creation of the world and its inhabitants, the activities of gods, and the origins of natural phenomena. Myths are most times to be taken seriously, as they are told not for entertainment or amusement, but to instruct and to impart wisdom. Some of these myths are also believed to be true, while some are always set in reality, with real places and in real time, either in the historical past or the present. From proof that mermaids exist to the existence of a new Pokemon, here are 20 mythical creatures that actually exist. Number 20. A Mermaid I'm guessing we all know what a mermaid or a merman is. Well, in that case, for those who have no idea, mermaids or mermen are fabled marine creatures with the head and upper body of a human being and the tail of a fish. Just like the famous Disney mermaid princess Ariel, or famous Marvel Aquaman. In European folklore, mermaids, sometimes called sirens, were natural beings who had magical and prophetic powers. They loved music and often sang. Though very long lived, they were mortal and had no souls. But what if I tell you these creatures aren't just part of folklore but are actually real? Yes, an actual mermaid had washed up to the shore at Great Yarmouth Beach in Britain. A clear proof of the fact that mermaids have actually existed in the past. The dead remnants of the creature washed up to shore after a hurricane had occurred. and somehow it unluckily found its way to the human lands. Funny enough, there will be skeptics who would think otherwise, but I personally don't think there's an explanation that can discourage anyone from believing these creatures don't actually exist, especially after watching this video. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19 thorny devil. The thorny devil, which is also known as the thorny dragon or the mountain devil, is a small up to 8 inches in length, a spiky lizard native to Australia. They live in the arid scrubland and desert of the interior of the continent. These creatures happen to be named after a human sacrifice god, a Canite god, Moloch, who was a horrible king smeared with the blood of human sacrifice. The creature also goes by the name Moloch Horridus, and the word Horridus is a Latin word that can mean bristly or dreadful. The lizard's unique appearance definitely makes it stand out, but it's also an adaptation. They are covered with large spines all over their bodies. The spikes are mostly boneless, except for on the lizard's skull. Though the thorny devil isn't a very big lizard, it can grow up to around 8 inches in total, including the tail. Females are quite larger than males. Number 18. Red Wakari the red wakari are small South American primates with striking bald heads and bright red faces. They may be attractive to mates because malarial or sick animals develop pale faces. They have a long, shaggy coat that varies from reddish brown to orange. These monkeys live only in the Amazon River Basin, preferring permanently or seasonally flooded rainforests and locations near water sources such as small rivers and lakes. Unlike the regular monkeys, these creatures have very short tails but are able to move from tree to tree without them. Instead, they used their arms and legs. They lived in groups called troops and happened to be quite social. Their groups may include close to a hundred animals, but bald yukaris split up during the day to forage in smaller groups of one to ten individuals. Sadly, females can only give birth to a single infant every two years, which means the population cannot experience rapid growth. Another discouraging thing about the primates is that they are being hunted in their Amazon forests for food. They are also threatened by the destruction of their homes as the timber industry clears every increasing swath of the Amazon forest. These lovelies do, in fact, exist even though reports of seeing one are very scarce or often debunked as myths. Let us know in the comment section if you've ever encountered one. As mentioned earlier, these creatures inhabit Australia's great sandy desert. They can also be found in sandy deserts and scrub with sandy soil since they don't like rocky or hard soil areas. Number 17. Glaucus Atlanticus there is a Greek mythology about Glaucus, a fisherman who one day drew his nets to land and had great fishes in various kinds. After he had laid out all the fishes, they suddenly revived and jumped back to sea. 
Glaucus, who was astonished, then gathered a few herbs around, wondering which could have such power. After eating it, he suddenly felt a desire for water. Not being able to restrain himself, he plunged into the water and was received graciously by the gods. He lost all sense of his former nature and consciousness. When he recovered, he found himself changed in form and mind. His hair was sea green and trailed behind on the water. He was endowed with the gift of prophecy and instructed Apollo in the art of soothsaying. Today what we know is the blue sea slug known as Glaucus Atlanticus. These dragons can also be called blue angels or sea swallows. They are simply sea slugs that top out at around one inch long. But what they lack in size, they make up for in ferocity and beauty. It might also interest you to know that the Glaucus Atlanticus isn't the bottom feeding sea slug people are used to seeing. They use a gas sack in their stomachs to float upside down in warm ocean currents, snagging other small venomous jellyfish with their tiny blue feet. Number 16. Vampire Deer Yes, you guessed it, these unique creatures are known as vampire deer. But don't worry, they do not lurk in the shadows looking for unsuspecting prey or go around sucking blood. They are like every other deer herbivores. They were believed to be extinct until one was found in the wild for the very first time in 60 years. You probably think that they are actually vampires, and the first of their kind has returned from the dead to hunt. But that's not the case, because several of their species are endangered, as they are being hunted for their scent glands, which are used in perfume and traditional Asian medicine. Now, the question is, how do they end up having fangs when other deers have antlers? Originally, all male deer had both antlers and lost their tusks, but as they evolved, larger species grew larger antlers and lost their fangs, while smaller deer kept their tusks and only developed smaller antlers antlers. But whether they have antlers or not, let's admit the fact that while these creatures may appear a bit sinister, they are undeniably adorable. Number 15. Super Bird of Paradise the Bird of Paradise is a creature with origins in Iran's mythology, legend, and folklore. Its Arabic name Huma is derived from the words Hu, which means spirit, and Ma, A, which means water. So I guess this creature suggests some supernatural connection to life and possibly immortality. These creatures are very brilliant and, not to mention beautiful birds, one would be hard-pressed to find. The Bird of Paradise is brightly adorned from crest to tail, always in some variation combining all the colors of the rainbow. Most of them have long necks like a goose or swan, though some of them have shorter necks and smaller builds. But one common trail that all birds of paradise share is a long, glorious train of trail feathers that trail behind it. Little is known about this bird's habits, and it is said that the bird of paradise never rests from flight and can hardly be seen perching in a tree or picking about on the ground. They do not even swoop in to pick some small animal as their prey, instead it remains in flight all its days. As one of the most extraordinary birds, they possess certain attributes that distinguish them from the rest. The adult male averages 26 centimeters long, while the female is 25 centimeters. Adult male jet black with iridescent crown and blue chest shield. Cape of elongated nape feathers fans out symmetrically when raised. On the other hand, the female has a blackish brown head with a pale mounted stripe running across the forehead, above the eyes, and around the nape. Its underparts are light brown with heavy, darker barring. Number 14. Streaked Tenric The streaked Tenric's fur consists of detachable barbed spines and coarse hairs. The common or tailless Tenric is the largest weighing 2 kilograms which is equivalent to 4.4 pounds or more. These hedgehog-like animals are endemic to Madagascar and nearby islands, but the otter shrews are native to the African mainland. Unlike other species of tenric, the lowland streaked tenric prefers to live in groups consisting of up to 15 immediate family members. This close-knit group will cuddle together in their burrow before going out and foraging for worms and other tasty treats. Most of their active time will occur during the day, early morning, or late evening hours. If a predator threatens the lowland streaked tenric during their outing, they will give fair warning to their would-be opponent by raising the spikes surrounding its head and stomping their feet. If this doesn't work, they won't hesitate to rush their attacker in an attempt to headbutt them, which generally leaves the predator with a face full of quills. They may be tiny, but they sure are feisty. I would be a little nervous approaching this little mammal, even if they do look like a cute bumble hedgehog. Number 13. 
Narwhal. If you're curious about how the narwhal got its tusk, then you must know that according to myths from the Inuit in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the narwhal was once a woman with long hair that she had twisted and plaited to resemble a tusk. When the woman's blind son lashed her to a white whale, she drowned but transformed into a narwhal. In recent times, the narwhal looks more like a cross between a whale and a unicorn with its long, spiraled tusks sticking out from its head. Males most commonly have tusks, and some may even have two. The tusk, which can grow as long as 10 feet, is actually in a large tooth. Ongoing research indicates that the tusk has the sensory capability with up to 10 million nerve endings inside. It may also play a role in the way the males exert dominance. Narwhals spend their lives in the Arctic waters of Canada, Greenland, Norway, and Russia. Most of the world's narwhals winter up for up to five months under the sea ice in Britain Bay Davis Strait area, between Canada and western Greenland. Cracks in the ice allow them to breathe when needed, especially after dives, which can be up to a mile and a half deep. They feed mainly on Greenland halibut and other fish, squid, and shrimp. Number 12. Saiga Antelope These unusual animals have an enormous hump on their nose and have lived on our planet for so long that they might have even seen mammoths. But the sad fact is that very few of them are left in the wild, and the main reason is people hunting them for their horns. The Kalmyk people living in Russia have a legend about a white elder, the master of the earth, who protects all that is living. He is often depicted with his faithful companion, a small saiga, who is his favorite animal. Saiga antelopes have a rather unusual appearance. The saiga antelope is superbly adapted to the harsh conditions of the semi-desert grasslands of Central Asia, which are among the last remaining wilderness areas in Eurasia. Sadly, their numbers are plummeting and they are now critically endangered. Attempts to domesticate the saiga have failed miserably, and unlike deer or bison, they need to be out in the open and constantly on the move. Just 200 years ago, the saiga could be seen in the steppe regions from the Carpathian Mountains in western Ukraine to China. But when people began to populate those areas actively, the saiga had to move out and make room for humans. Today, saigas live not only in Russia, particularly in Kalmykia and Astrakhan region, but also on the territory of some former Soviet republics where there are steppes. Number 11. Okapi one of the earliest Western reports of a mythical African unicorn talked about a leaf-eating African donkey spotted in the late 19th century. From a distance, it resembled a small horse or donkey with zebra stripes on its forequarters, hindquarters, and rump. After some scientific tussling as to whether it was, in fact, a donkey, a forest eland, or a species of zebra, it was concluded that this beautiful creature is related to none of the previously mentioned animals. While the okapi shares the unique markings and features of a number of different African animals, it is in fact most closely related to a giraffe. It is as though this creature were a hybrid creature from our Greek legend. So rare is the okapi that it wasn't unknown to the Western world until the 19th century. These wonderful creatures can, in fact, be found in the rainforests of the Congo region. Their existence was known when British explorer Sir Harry Hamilton Johnston sent the first bits of hide to the British Museum. Although it is related to the giraffe, the okapi has a shorter neck and shorter legs. However, the okapi coat is sleek and deep brown, almost purple, with the sides of the face pale white, and the forehead and ears may have a dull reddish cast. The thighs and tops of the forelegs are horizontally striped with black and white, and lower parts of the legs are white with black rings above the hooves. Number 10. Tardigrade Tardigrades, popularly known as water bears, definitely have a mythical toughness. This eight-legged microscopic animal can survive freezing temperatures close to absolute zero, pressure six times greater than what's at the ocean floor, hundreds of times the radiation that would floor a human, and the vacuum of space. They were discovered in 1773 by the German zoologist Johann August Ephraim, who gave the name Little Water Bear. Three years later, Italian biologist Lazzaro Spallanzani named the group Tardigrada, or Slow Stepper, for their toddling gait. And as their name implies, water bears live just about anywhere there's water inhabiting the ocean, freshwater lakes and rivers, and the water film that coats terrestrial mosses and lichens. They can survive a wide range of environments from altitudes of over 19,600 feet in the Himalayan mountains range to ocean depths more than 15,000 feet below the surface. 
Most tardigrades are known to suck fluids from cells in plants, algae, and fungus puncturing cell walls and needle-like stylets on their mouths and hoovering up the liquid inside. However, some species can consume entire living organisms such as rotifers, nematodes, and even other tardigrades. While most of us will probably never be personally assaulted by a water bear, this certainly does not mean that they are harmless. In fact, their very existence is deeply dangerous to our mental health. We understand that there's virtually no escape from these water bears, as they're hiding beneath the ice in Arctic Ocean and at the top of the Himalayas. Chances are, they could also be in our backyards and everywhere in between. So even if we can't see them, we can feel their presence and sense that they are awaiting our demise. Creepy, isn't it? Number 9. Star-Nosed Mole A star-nosed mole is surely one of the world's weirdest looking animals if you ask me. And if you were to come face to face with one, you might think there's an octopus latched to its head. And for an animal that's nearly blind, the American species happens to be surprisingly fast. And by fast, I mean the world's fastest eater. It can find and gobble down an insect or worm in a quarter of a second. Another beautiful fact is that it is one of two animals in the world known to smell underwater. It does so by blowing air bubbles and sucking them back into its nose. Star-nosed moles are not uncommon, just uncommonly seen in Catania. The species range stretches along the eastern portions of the US and Canada. So keep an eye out, what you find just might surprise you. Number 8. Chupacabra Is it a myth? Well, all we know is that this creature strikes in the night and has a weakness for blood. Put away the goats and any other household pets, my friends, because the chupacabra may be coming to a barn close to you. Chupacabra and a popular Latin American myth that tells us about monstrous creature that attacks animals and consumes their blood. The name is derived from the Spanish words chupar, which means to suck, and cabra, which is Spanish for goat. In other words, this creature can be translated as goat sucker. As a fearsome but probably non-existent creature, the chupacabra has been characterized as the southern equivalent of the Sasquatch. The physical descriptions of this creature may vary, as some describe it as reptilian and alien-like in Puerto Rico. In Latin American, it is described generally as a heavy creature the size of a small bear with a row of spines reaching from the neck to the base of the tail. Others depict it as more dog-like, particularly in the southwestern United States. Sightings have been reported in Puerto Rico since the 1970s, and this creature has since been reported as far north as Maine. As far south as Chile, and even outside the Americas, and in countries like Russia and the Philippines. All of the reports are anecdotal and have been disregarded as uncorroborated or lacking evidence. Number 7. Giant Golden Crowned Flying Fox we have all seen bats, the tiny creatures flying around in the night. But what if I tell you that the bats in the Philippines are not so tiny? As a matter of fact, the country has species that are as big as humans. And no, none of this is made up. A Twitter handle, AlexJoeStart622, shared the image of a human-sized bat in 2020, and since then, it has been blowing up on the internet. If you've probably heard someone saying the Philippines have human-sized bats, then this is most likely what they are referring to. The first image in the tweet shows a bat in the sleeping position, hanging upside down and covering itself with its wings as bats normally do. However, the size of this bat is anything but the word normal. The second image says that the bat is called a golden crowned flying fox that has a wingspan of up to 1.7 meters. It is also said that these bats are vegetarian and consume fruits. The picture was, in fact, originally from 2018 but suddenly went viral again after it was shared on Twitter in 2020. The giant golden crowned flying fox is one of the world's largest bat species. It's among the heaviest of all bat species with individuals weighing up to 1.4 kilograms. The only bat species known to weigh more than the giant golden crowned flying fox are the Indian flying fox and great flying fox with a maximum weight of 1.6 kilograms and 1.45 kilograms respectively. Number 6. Leafy Sea Dragon This beautiful creature is not majestic as people say but some mysteries about the sea dragons are yet to be solved. Named after the sea dragons of Chinese mythology, leafy sea dragons or Phycodrus acuse resembles a piece of drifting seaweed as they float in the seaweed-filled water. 
The leafy sea dragon with green, orange, and gold hues along its body is covered with leaf-like appendages, making it remarkably camouflaged. Only the fluttering of tiny fins or the moving of an independently swiveling eye can reveal its presence. Sea dragons are some of the most ornately camouflaged creatures on the planet, adorned with gossamer, leaf-shaped appendages over the entire bodies. They are perfectly outfitted to blend in with the seaweed and kelp formations they live amongst. It is found along the southern and western coast of Australia. The name is derived from the appearance, with long leaf-like protrusions coming from all over the body. These protrusions are not used for propulsion, but they are used only as camouflage. Of course, it might take a good long look to actually find any leafy sea dragons. And fortunately, they are not mythical like their namesakes, as they do exist. Let us know in the comment section if you've ever seen one, and feel free to share your experience. Number 5. Garrett. No, the neck wasn't photoshopped, and yes, these magnificent creatures do exist. Numerous small antelope found throughout Africa is quite easily overlooked and often mystifying in their habits. One of these is the Garanuk, which can also be called the Giraffe Gazelle or Waller's Gazelle. It is an unforgettable antelope with the ability to rear up and stand on its hind legs to reach tender leaves and buds from trees and shrubs. I'm sure other smaller deer probably just stand there in jealousy. Their Garanucks have long necks and legs that are uniquely adapted to forage in this manner allowing the Garanuck to feed on plant food sources unavailable to other herbivores. They live in small family groups and are not common throughout East Africa. One special fact about these creatures is that Garanucks do not appear to drink water since they get enough water from the plants they eat. We all know that drinking water is a basic need for every animal especially large animal species like mammals. Even water is still important life support for camels, which can save gallons of water in its humps, which seem like rarely drinking the liquid. But for Garanooks, drinking water is only a mere option to do. What's more, they can decide to go an entire lifetime without drinking water. But the only thing they do need to consume is food, a lot of it. Indeed, they eat most of the time in the wake of the day and just peacefully sleep at night. Number 4. Golden Tortoise Beetle Only a few insects boast a truly gold-colored body, but the Golden Tortoise Beetle is even more outstanding as it can actually change its coloring at will, thanks to the microscopic cavities in its cuticle that house the pigmentation. The beetle's metallic sheen can be dulled and that lovely gold can become brown. It's possible to mistake them for ornaments or some kind of treasure, but sadly the metallic glimmer fades upon death. Like a tortoise, the body of the beetle is humped around it as though the wing coverings were actually a shell. The bottom edges of the beetle's elytra are transparent like glass. The mesmerizingly beautiful golden tortoise beetle only inhabits specific areas within the outer boundaries of North America. These areas of habitation primarily include the eastern and western United States. However, scattered populations also exist in the northern sections of Mexico. They also remain rather selective of their habitat, and as a result of this characteristic, they can only inhabit regions rich in sweet potatoes and related species. Sadly, though, this has created a problem between them and humans, most especially farmers who seize them as pets. Number 3. Aardvark Aardvarks apparently live throughout Africa, south of the Sahara. The name aardvark is derived from South Africa's African's language, which means earth pig. Taking a glimpse of the aardvark's body and long snout actually brings the pig to mind. But on taking a much closer look, you'd be surprised to find that the aardvark appears to include other animal figures as well. It has a rabbit-like ear and a kangaroo tail, but studies have shown that the aardvark is related to none of these animals. They normally use their long noses and keen sense of smell to sniff out ants and termites, which they wrap up with an anteater-like tongue covered in sticky saliva. These insects make up most of the aardvark's diet, although they are known to eat beetle larvae occasionally. To thrive in their sub-Saharan habitat, their large, rabbity ears help them to disperse heat and their sparse body hair and thick skin help protect them from insect bites. Aside from that, they have other remarkable characteristics that make these creatures unique, like the fact that they can close their nostrils too, keep out insects and dust. Their tongues can also be up to a foot long. The thing is, people rarely see aardvarks, but that's only because they're solitary, nocturnal, and spend so much time underground. They also lack the reflective tissue that makes the eyes of some animals glow in the dark, so you might have walked by one and probably didn't notice it. Number 2. Red-Lipped Batfish 
The red-lipped batfish is an unusual fish, looking like a character from SpongeBob with terrible makeup skills. This creature might be closely related to other batfish but completely unique to Galapagos. The red-lipped batfish is a bottom dweller and is usually found within the sandy bottom of reefs or on the ocean floor. They can be found at depths of about 3 to 76 meters in the Pacific Ocean around Galapagos or around edges of reefs up to about 120 meters deep. As its name implies, the batfish also has bright, almost fluorescent red lips looking as though it has recently eaten blood meal or is wearing bright red lipstick. They strangely also have another trait which has to do with the use of their fins. Although it is capable of swimming along the seabed in search of food, the batfish's fins are better made or adapted to work as pseudo legs. These legs are used to walk and perch on while it surveys its surroundings. Sadly, they can only be found around the Galapagos Islands, hence its other name of Galapagos batfish. A sprinkle of satisfaction to your curiosity about the red lips is based on the fact that scientists believe that the batfish's florid red lips help it to identify and attract members of the same species during the spawning season. Number 1. Venezuelan Poodle Moth No, it's not a bird, and nope, it's definitely not a dog. This fuzzy creature is in so many ways adorable and puzzling, making you question the line between reality and myths. This creature has raised quite an audience due to its bizarre resemblance to a Pokemon or demonic Furby. It was first discovered in 2009 by zoologist Arthur Anker of Bishik, Kyrgyzstan. The mysterious snapshot of this strange little creature quickly made its rounds on the internet. The bizarre white creature with bulging black eyes and strange brown antennae looks more like a blend between a large moth and a fluffy white poodle but is, in fact, a real creature. Rare enough that photos only surface occasionally and in doing so it keeps its audience confused. A closer examination would actually be necessary before the actual classification of the animal can occur. In the meantime, the images that do emerge will continue to mystify the world at large, only adding to the elusive mystery that surrounds this strange little moth creature. And that's it for 20 mythical creatures that actually exist. How many of these creatures have you encountered? Well, what are you waiting for? The comment section is open to all. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!